Hi, I'm Ellen Riedel. I'm a staff attorney with Maryland Volunteer Lawyer Service, and I'm going to take a minute today to talk to you about rent-to-own contracts. So I'm going to tell you what that is and um, things to look out for, um, potential problems with these types of contracts, um, and what you should do if you're thinking about um, entering into one of these contracts. So a rent-to-own contract is really a lease, it's a regular lease um, to rent a property and then there's usually an addition to the lease at the end that's called an option contract. It's, it's an option to buy the property at some later point, sometime in the future. So the important thing to know about these contracts is if you sign one, under, under Maryland law, you are still a tenant, not a home buyer. So if you sign a rent to own contract, you're not a homeowner until you actually get your name on the deed. And that doesn't happen uh, until later on in the process if you, if you make it that far. So it's a regular lease. And then the option uh, at the, that they add on to the lease is where you're paying, you're, you're basically putting up money up front uh, for this option. Um, which is you, the landlord is giving you the opportunity to buy the property. And there's usually conditions that are listed in the contract. Um, so that'll say when you're allowed to exercise that contract and, and actually buy the property from the landlord. So that usually includes, it'll have the, um, the purchase price in the contract. Um, and then it'll say, you know, once you're able to save up a certain amount of money for a down payment, something like that. It'll have certain conditions that you have to meet before you can actually buy the property from the landlord. Um, the other important thing to know is that a lot of times in these contracts, there's a, a, some sort of um, amount from the rent that you're paying every month that's supposed to go toward that down payment. Uh, but the problem with a lot of contracts that we see is that the amount that's set aside is never going to be enough on its own to, um, to get to that down payment amount. So the person, if they want to exercise the contract, is still going to have to usually find some, some sort of contract um, for financing um, outside of the amount that they're saving up through the, the rent. Um, the other big problem with these contracts is that there's no home inspection. Um, there's nothing like that. Uh, there's no process like that that normal homeowners in the mortgage kind of process get. They get those protections, but a lot of people that sign rent to own contracts don't get that. So they may sign the rent to own contract and there may be some really serious problems with the property and they're either stuck with them or they have to just decide not to buy the not to buy the property and then they lose that money that they've already paid so if you're thinking about doing a rent to own contract make sure you look really carefully at the terms of the contract you know who's responsible for repairs and maintenance how much money you're gonna have to put down and what the purchase price of the property is um, sometimes the the purchase price can end up being a lot more or a lot less than than what the property is actually worth by the time you can actually buy the property um, so it's just all things to watch out for and I would really encourage you if you're thinking about signing a contract like that to talk to an attorney, have them go over the contract with you so that if there's any problems or any, um, anything you should be aware of before signing it, you'll, you'll know before you sign.